hi! Thanks for watching my video. So I made a video last week where we were looking at whether or not we could grow a death flower and we were able to. We did that with my next door neighbour over here. Can't remember her name but I'm sure we'll bump into her at some point. And I said in that video that what I would try and do is, now that we know how to grow a death flower, was to see how much money can we actually make using the in-game mechanics from just growing death flowers. So, I didn't want to use the same sim I used last week because I feel like the results would be a bit skewed because she already had loads of different other plants that she was able to harvest at any time. So we wouldn't have really got an accurate reading of how much money we would make from the death flower. So instead, I've decided to use a new sim. Here she is. Her name is Nancy. She is friends with the, the lady next door. In fact, I could tell you her name. Jill. Here she is. There's Jill. And Jill has kindly given us one of her death flowers. Will you stop going into your tent? Yeah, we live a little bit more in nature. So we have our tent there, little tiny kitchen, little bathroom. There was quite a lot of work involved in um, growing the death flower. So now that we have one, oh, too cold to plant. So we're going to start by planting one of these and then basically see how many more plants we can reproduce. So I think for the beginning, it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. We're going to have to wait a few days. The death flower is in season. I'm going to have to wait for it to cool down, for it to warm up a little bit before I can plant it, I guess. We do also have some seasonal winter plants because Nancy here doesn't actually have the, much of the gardening skill. So I'm going to help build up her gardening skill by planting some of these other seasonal plants. And my plan is to like splice the death flower in with some of these other plants that I'm growing. However, for the exact same reason why we didn't play with Jill in and are instead playing with Nancy, we're not going to be selling any produce directly from these plants. So if we plant these Christmas roses, for example, we're not allowed to sell the Christmas roses, we're only allowed to sell the death flower. If I remember correctly, I think once you plant a death flower, it takes, I think it was like 72 hours or something for it to actually grow. Oh, finally, finally, it's warm enough to plant this flower. Okay, we're just gonna plant everything so we can build up our gardening skill. We need to get to the skill level so that we can start cutting and splicing plants together so that I can eventually, what I'm planning is to have my death flower bush. This whole little plot is going to be just death flower bushes. Hopefully these planters are going to be filled with death flower bushes and then all of these, this row here and these two, will be other, other planted items that are also spliced with death flower. So hopefully we'll make quite a lot of money. So we'll water them all, we'll talk to them all. Some of these are already growing, look. Sprouting, my Christmas roses. Come and talk to your plant. I'm just gonna have her do a load of gardening stuff, like talk and research. I mean, at this point, really, there's nothing we can do until that plant has grown, which is gonna take a few days at least. So I guess we'll just play through a few days. I might just speed through a few days and see if we get that death flower bush. Oh, also, there's a reason why I said uh, how much money can we make using the in-game mechanics. So I'm not going to be using any cheats. So there is what I think is a bug, which I tested out in the video I did a week ago, where if you grow a death flower, it's like the bush is supposed to produce you with one flower per day, but if you pick up the bush and place it in build and buy, suddenly it generates like nine death flowers. Now, it sort of depends on your take on this. I personally think if you could get that to happen without using mods or without typing in any cheats, then that's fair game. So I fully intend to take advantage of that, and that will be taken into account when it comes to figuring out how much money you can make from the death flower. I haven't really thought of like a, a time period though. See, I'd like to say a week, but I think that's maybe too short. So maybe we'll just see how we go. It's Monday right now. But yeah, um, we are going to see if that little trick works in build and buy. Main reason being is that everyone has access to do that. Whether you're playing on console or not, it should work, she says. So if in theory I had like five death flower bushes, I could end up getting like 47 flowers a day. But anyway, anyway, Nancy, I'm just going to let you enjoy the next few days and I'll revisit you when this bush is starting to bloom. Well, this has turned out a bit strange. So uh, my death flower, it's only just bloomed, but it's produced two flowers instead of one. And also yesterday I took a cutting of this bush, spliced it in with this one, and this one has also produced two death flowers. That's so strange. 
everywhere I looked online, it said a death flower bush would only produce one flower. I wonder, um, I wonder what... I wonder what would happen if I pick this up and move it to this side. Oh, okay, yeah, it does still bloom like loads of flowers. But is that nine? Okay, how odd. So we still managed to get like multiple flowers. Okay, I'm just gonna harvest all, oh, 10. Harvest all 10 death flowers. I'm gonna harvest my other bushes as well. Um, I'll just go harvest all. The ones that I've harvested so far, I'm not selling. I'm just keeping them there, but that's cool. But that's good, now I have 13 death flowers, so I'm not gonna sell any of them right now. I'm gonna go ahead and replant them all. So I guess we'll plant some over here as well. Okay, still too cold to plant. Oh, the joys of gardening in winter. That's good though, because that plant there, actually, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this over to this planter over there, because I'm hoping for this bush to give me nine more. So it looks like every day now we're going to be planting death flowers. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'll plant them until I filled all of my planters. So I've got three more over there, three over here. And then once all of my planters are full, that would probably be a good indication to tell me how much money we'd be looking at every single day. Not selling anything yet, though. We're still just working on building our garden. Oh, by the way, since I left Nancy to her own devices, she's got to, like, gardening level seven. I guess that's because I haven't given her anything else to entertain herself, but she's basically just been chatting with the plants. Good for her. Do you know, I'm actually starting to think that this is not going to take long at all. I mean, I know we started on Monday and it's already been like four days, but it doesn't feel like it. I mean, we I really just flew past them waiting for this bush to grow. Oh, I can see it now. Death flower bushes everywhere. Maybe I'll end up with so many flowers that I can uproot all of my other plants and just replace everything so that every single planter is full of nothing but death bushes. That's the dream. Is it warm enough to plant these fuckers yet? Oh, when? Freezing cold. Okay, well, I'm going to plant all of these death flowers once it starts cooling down and then we'll see, we'll see how the harvest goes tomorrow. Well, we're on day five. Um, I managed to harvest about five death flowers. I forgot to reset it. But we've got a little bit of a problem in that all of the plant, all of the plants that I laid out yesterday um, can't be planted because it's too cold outside. So I'm just kind of hoping that at some point it will warm up enough for me to actually plant my death flowers. But yeah, I've got this planter full over here. All these three are full. So hopefully at some point, I'm hoping maybe by tomorrow's harvest, hopefully by then we'll be able to plant some of these other death flowers. Okay, we're on day six. My two plants, my only two plants producing death flowers have bloomed, but I managed to plant all of the others at least. So I'm gonna try my build and buy thing. There we go, beautiful. I wonder if it works with this plant. Yeah, oh, well, shit. Should have done that on day one. Okay, let's go and harvest all of everything and then hopefully we'll be able to plant. Is it freezing today? Yeah, well hopefully once the temperature drops down to cool, I can plant all of my other death flowers. That might even be enough to fill up like the remaining planter spaces. Let's see, I've got 19 death flowers here. So if I put these in here and then I have a few more spaces over here and I still have four left so I can fill this planter. Okay, so I've got space for eight more death flowers. I think with that in mind, um, I'm not gonna bother doing the whole like build and buy trick anymore. I just don't really think I need to. I've pretty much filled all of my planters. Oh, is my death flower ready to evolve? Very nice, so that should be worth even more money now. Okay, cool, cool. Can we plant these? No, too cold, okay. Might have to wait a couple of days before we can actually plant them. Okay, well let's see what tomorrow brings, Nancy. I'll see, I'll see you on day seven. It is day seven. Still, it's stayed too cold for me to plant any of these, but some of these little bushes are actually starting to grow. So I'm gonna take a cutting from each of them. Hopefully that doesn't kill them. So I should have a few cuttings now. Okay, so these are all money trees. This one is Christmas rose and death flower. I keep saying money trees, I mean death flower. So I'm gonna graft my death flower onto these that haven't been grafted with anything yet. Graft these with my Christmas flowers. Okay, for some reason, all of the cuttings I took, I could only graft onto one plant. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. I never know where I am with gardening with The Sims 4, honestly. Oh, although it looks like it's no longer freezing, so I can come and plant these now. 
And I can take a cutting from these bushes as well. Oh, mastered gardening. And we still have some more death flowers over here that I want to plant before the temperature drops again. Okay, so I'm gonna graph this plant. I guess she can only graft one plant at a time. I guess she just took all of those cuttings and put it in that plant. Okay, that's fine. That's at least something I know for tomorrow. Still not made any money after seven days, but I'm pretty certain that we're just sat on a gold mine waiting to happen. We're gonna make so much money when all of these are bloomed. I hope. Oh shit. Day eight. It's day eight, right? Pretty sure it's day eight. Yeah, we started this on a Monday. We have quite a lot of death flowers. We've got some over here and then we have a few more over here as well growing and in that planter over there. So I've got 12 in my inventory so I can plant a few more now. Well, if the weather cool, if the weather heats up a little bit. So I should have enough to fill this planter. Beautiful. So all of my planters are full. I do have some of these plants that are not death flowers, but I think it would be better for me to like splice them, to, to graft them, than to try deleting them and then planting death flowers from scratch again. Because I've taken a cutting from so many, I think what I might do is wait until these eight and these seven grow a bit more and I'll take one cutting and then splice them with all the other plants. Okay, it's currently too cold to plant, but we can at least sell some of our death flowers. We don't need any more now for any more planting. So the 41, bloody hell, 41 death flowers that I have, I can just go ahead and sell for 8,400 simoleons. So that, that 8.4k is what we've earned during our very first week where we started with nothing but one death flower and we had to wait several days for these to grow. I can't even imagine how much money we'll be making a day once every single one of these plants is like blooming death flowers. Well, let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm sure we'll get even more death flowers and maybe, just maybe, some of these other ones. I don't think they will have produced any flowers, but they might just be ready to take cuttings from them. Day nine, quite a lot of death flowers to harvest. I'm just gonna harvest them all. And also some of these have bloomed as well, a bit sooner than what I was expecting. So these bottom eight, I can take a cutting from. I mean, I don't even know. I probably could take a cutting from these, but I just don't want to risk killing them by taking too many cuttings. So, so far we got 28 death flowers. This has been a real labor of love, but I feel like it's going to pay off so much. Okay, and that's all. So we got 63 death flowers. I don't think we need any more death flowers though. So I'm gonna sell all of these for 16 and a half thousand. Okay, very nice. So let's take a cutting from this plant. And um, which plant's over here? So my potato does not have one, so I'll graft it with that one. And then I'll come and take another cutting. I feel like you shouldn't have to do like one cutting at a time. I'm sure I didn't have to do that before, but for some reason, if I get her to take the cuttings all at once, she just puts them all on one plant. Okay, so now every single one of my plants, with the exception of these two holly bushes at the end, are all growing death flowers. All of these ones have been grafted, these have all been grafted. So at some point I'll take a cutting to add to those two end ones. But again, now we wait. Maybe we should clean that up. Do we not have a trash can? Maybe we'll let it grow into a trash fruit and then we'll graft a death flower onto that. Day 10. So all of the plants that I grafted, except this one, is this one not growing the death flower? Yeah, it is. Well, most of them have produced death flowers, which is nice. Although I'm not too sure what's going on with this one, <laughs> but that's fine. I'll come and harvest all of our death flowers. See, this was a long process, or I think it was a long process anyway, spending like the best part of two weeks just dedicating my sim to something, but now, we're basically gonna be in a spot where we're gonna be making like, I don't know, like over 30 grand a day probably. So let's see what Wednesday, let's see what day 10's harvest brings in. I'm kind of more interested though to see how much we make once all of my plants are fully grown, but we got 80 floor, 84 death flowers there. So I can sell it for 24,440. Oh wait, we didn't even harvest these ones. Harvest these death flowers too. I think it still might be a couple of days though until these start producing death flowers. I think maybe Friday we'll have all of them. So how many did we get just then? Eight. Beautiful. Over 50 grand. I'm seeing a lot of sparkles as well. I think a lot of these are ready to evolve now. So they'll be worth even more. 
Yeah, I think it will still be a few days yet though before we see all of these flourish. But it's looking good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for maybe these ones that I planted a couple of days ago. I'll wait for them to grow and I'll use the cuttings from them to splice onto those last two holly bushes. But for now, Nancy, still a wasting game. Why don't you read your Wilderness Digest? So, uh, I harvested our death flowers from this morning. I haven't sold them yet. 99 plus. But... I was just going to like pick up again once it was tomorrow, but I've noticed that my four bushes over here have started growing, which means I can graft them onto my last holly bushes. So maybe by tomorrow's harvest, maybe we'll end up with every single plant here producing a death flower. Take cutting. Okay, so I think every single plant I have now is growing a death flower. Oh wait, no, I chose the wrong plants. They were already death flowers. Oh, Carly, you stupid bitch. I was meant to put them on the holly bush. For some reason though, I'm not getting the option, not getting the option to graft them onto this. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna get rid of these and then plant two of my death flowers. And then that way I know I've got only death flowers growing here. Let's plant these two and then we'll sell the ones that we harvested this morning. 37,000. Well, these two death flowers aren't going to be ready to harvest for a few days, so I don't think I'm gonna count them. I think at this point, because pretty much every bush, except for those two, is growing a death flower, I'm gonna harvest tomorrow morning, and then I think we'll probably end this video here. I think tomorrow morning, when everything's ready to harvest, it will give us a really good indication of how much money we can make. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even know how many death flowers we've planted. This many, so many. But it will at least give us a good idea of how much money we can expect to make every single day. Well, every day of winter, which right now is nine more days. But I would argue we've already made enough money to tide us over the rest of the year, so we could probably not work all the way through all the other seasons. And then just do this every winter. Oh, my sink's broken. Go and repair it. We're not spending money on it. Saving every penny. It's 6 a.m. All of my plants, all of my plants are ready to harvest. Well, most of them. So I'm going to harvest all of my death flowers and we'll finally answer the question, how much money can you make from growing death flowers? Obviously, as I said, not a lot for the first two weeks. Well, the first week, actually, we did start making some serious money at the beginning of the week. But once you get to this point, how much can you expect to make every day? Okay, I think we're just harvesting the last lot now. Yeah, okay. I don't even know how many we have. 99 plus, apparently. So, Nancy, uh, what's our daily out. rate for growing death Every flowers? 41,000 simoleons. Very nice. Very nice. Well, we started this video with a question, and I feel like we've answered it. I'll be honest, this video was more to feed into my own curiosity than for any other purpose. But if you found it useful, I'm glad. But on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Huh?